Countless rats suddenly emerged from the sewers, they jumped into the sea to commit suicide. Something big is about to happen. Soon after, the ground suddenly shook, the town was hit by a 6.1 magnitude earthquake. In an instant, houses were shaken and mountains collapsed. The whole town was in chaos, but that wasn't the worst of it. The worst part was that one of the town's nuclear power plants was affected by the quake. A valve in reactor number one cracked, cooling water is leaking out. The temperature inside the furnace began to rise dramatically, everyone was confused. The nuclear power plant claims to be able to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8. How can there be a problem when it's only a magnitude? Six. It turns out that the plant was built 40 years ago. According to the procedure, it should be shut down for maintenance. But the Prime Minister is trying to push through a new bill to build more nuclear power plants. He shortened the two-year overhaul to two months. It's obvious that there are a lot of problems at the plant. And the station manager was dismissed because he reported the situation to the president. He was dismissed from his post. In his place, he was replaced by a guy who didn't even know the ABCs of a nuclear reactor. When a valve broke, the new chief thought it was a minor problem. The new station chief thought it was a minor incident. Just replace the valve with a new one. So he found some repair tools to deal with it. But the maintenance workers were afraid of radiation. In order to shorten the working time, they didn't replace the valve with a new one. Instead, they just welded the cracks. As a result, the pressure of the pipe was too high and it burst. A large amount of cooling water sprayed on the workers. Radiation levels directly exploded. Worse still, due to the massive loss of cooling water, the temperature of the fuel rods soared and melted. Meltdown will produce a large amount of hydrogen gas. The maximum pressure that the barrier can withstand is 420, but it's already at 350. We need to vent it immediately or it will explode. The president called an emergency meeting. He called for a blue alert. He asked for a blue alert. He asked for a blue alert. Because the exhaust will cause harm to the human body. But the prime minister was adamant. Because a warning would cause a national panic. The national economy would collapse. The president is furious but there's nothing he can do. Because he's been out of power for a long time. He has no power at all. And while they're here, they're at an impasse. The nuclear power plant is in danger. The pressure inside the containment vessel has exceeded its peak. It could explode at any moment. But the old station master couldn't wait for an order from the higher-ups to ventilate. At that moment, the workers in the workshop heard that the nuclear power plant was about to explode. They dropped what they were doing and started to run for their lives. But the higher-ups locked up the only way out, forcing them to return to work. Jay Hayek had to pry open the door's control box. He successfully activated the manual mode. Then he turned the valve with all his might. The door finally opens, and there's hope. But it was too late. 